We are here at AirVenture and we saw something we haven't seen before. Now, Bearhawk you know, but Bearhawk Light Sport Aircraft you may not know. I'm Dan Johnson and I'm going to talk today with Mark Goldberg, who is the owner of the company. And you produced the stuff and somebody else designed it. We'll talk to him in a minute. But uh, welcome, Mark, to Oshkosh. You got Thank something you. new here for us. This is a, your light sport. That's all right on it, so it must be true. It is true. All right, and what's your plan here, Mark? Well, we want to introduce people to this model of airplane. Uh, this particular airplane was signed off to fly July 12th. All right. Two and a half weeks to ago. Be my birthday, so good job. <laughs> and uh, I hurried to get it done, to have it here to show folks what a really nice flight sport option might be if you want a little bit more capable airplane than, than most. Okay, now you're going to offer this how? Are you going to fully manufacture? Are you going to offer just kit? What's just your, kit. What's, what's your plan? Okay. We've contemplated the, the fully finished one, but just don't quite have the time and energy to make that happen. Our business has been the quick build kits, and that's what we're offering with this. Okay, so you're going to do that with this. So let's get into the uh, range of what it takes somebody if they say, wow, I like this. I don't really need the four-seat aircraft that you offer. Two seats is great for me. I want to fly without a medical or maybe some other reason that they're appealed, they're appealed to by this. What, uh, what kind of effort are they going to have to do to build this airplane, Mark? Well, uh, the quick build kit gets you very far along uh, in the building process. Give me an example process. of what you do for them then that would make it quicker. Okay. Uh, basically, the fuselage comes completely finished welded and painted. Okay. And is really largely assembly as opposed to fabrication. Okay, bolt A and hole B, that kind of yes, thing. Yes, you okay. use the plans to reference kind of where the parts go and how to hook them up. But it's really assembly. The only fabrication in our kit is in the boot cowl, which is from the firewall to the instrument panel, and in the cowling. Okay. We give you the materials, run along, you trim to fit, and make your boot cowl and cowling. The rest is all just assembly. What kind of hours would it take? Now, I know there's a big range in skill level among buyers, but in a typical average guy what or person, what's it going to be in hours to get this built? Eight to nine hundred hours. Eight to nine hundred hours. So a year, year and a half of time, would that be about right, depending on what they can give to it? Exactly. It's all time spent in the shop. If it's an hour a night, that's one thing. If it's two hours a night and all day Saturday, it becomes a shorter project. The important thing is to just keep after it. Okay. And spend a little time every day working, and that's how these projects get done. Now, we can see behind Mark, it's a tandem aircraft, one behind the other. The rear seat looks nice and big, kind of fills the fuselage back there. So. It's very ample cockpit. And uh, what are you powering it with, Mark? It was designed for all of the four, any of the four-cylinder Continentals, from 65 horse to an 0200. This one has a slightly souped-up 0200, making 105 horsepower. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we ought to call in your designer and find out a little more technical detail about the airplane. He's the one. You got He's somebody a, we can talk to about that? Bob Barrows is the fellow Bob that designed Barrows. all the airplanes that here we with manufacture us, kits for. And uh, so, good afternoon. you're behind the uh, Bearhawk in the first place, the design of that is? Yeah. And that's a four-seater. I'm looking over your shoulder here at the four-seater that I see. You did this one as well, Bob? Yeah, I did this so the four-seater and another two-seater, a heavier duty one, and then this lightweight. Uh, LSA Bearhawk. Okay, great. And uh, what challenge did you did you find in sort of shrinking it down? Now you said you already did another two seater, so I'm guessing this was not a lot of new design effort for you. But uh, were there any special challenges you had to meet in order to get within that weight class and everything? Well, yes, I needed to uh, make some of the fuselage tubing a little bit thinner wall and uh, smaller in diameter in some areas, but it's uh, it's still pretty standard size tubing, three quarter inch launch lines and stuff. Uh, the wing uh, had a lighter spar because the plane is rated at 1,500 pounds gross or registered at 1,320. Okay, so it's capable of 15 uh, if yeah. it's uh, not being flown by in the in the sport pilot class. So this is, while it's an LSA, it says so right on the cowl, it's actually experimental amateur built available for someone to fly with a sport pilot certificate. Right. Is that correct? Right. Okay. And the 1500 is utility category, so it's, you know, it's got a good safety factor. So if somebody wanted to fly it with a private or better, uh, they could build it and fly it at a higher weight. They could. And uh, then they got to have a medical, of course, and some other things. But, right. But you're available both ways on that. Then. Yeah. Okay, great. And uh, well, just another thing too, you know, the wing's a little bit thinner material in certain areas, and uh, it's uh, a little bit longer actually. This wing is than our other pair of hops. Yeah, you got to be able to slow down and meet those uh, speed requirements to fit within the category. Right. So you lengthen the wing. Is that right? A little bit. Yeah. Okay. And the cord is actually a little less. 
Ah, but okay. There's a, but there's a lot of area here. There's 170 square feet of wing area, which is... Oh, yeah, that's a pretty really big wing, yeah. Big wing for a plane that only weighs 740 pounds. Okay, I was just going to ask you some numbers. With a wing that size, you can carry a weight up to 1,500 if you go into a different category. Right. Uh, but 750, that's a pretty low empty weight in this space. Yeah. Uh, that's going to give you a decent payload. How much fuel are you carrying, for example? It's 30 gallons. 30 gallons, okay. Yeah, it's got so. a lot of fuel because uh, the engine burns anywhere from four to six gallons an hour. Okay. And, uh, you know, some of the guys are going to be heavier than 750 because I'm pretty basic in my uh, airplane. Sure, sure. Some of them are just going to doll it up some more and then yeah. fly it in another category. All right, great stuff. Well, back to you, Mark. Uh, when is the airplane? You just got this one done uh, on a very important day, as I said earlier. And uh, what's your plan about selling the aircraft then? When is it going to be available? Somebody said, wow, I love it. I want one. How soon could you get them one? Next week. Next week. Well, okay, that's pretty quick. <laughs> Excellent. And uh, where do we reach you and find out even more information? You're located in Texas, correct? Austin, Texas. Austin, that's Texas. Correct. Is where the whole headquarters done? Well, headquarters is a little bit uh, of exaggeration of what we have, but uh, it's in the back office. Huh? That's that's where we distribute the kits out of. Okay. Our manufacturing facility is in Central Mexico, down below Mexico City. Ah, is that right? Okay. The factory that we set up and own. Now, how did you happen to come across a place in Mexico that could do the job for you? You said you set well, it up. But... It, it wasn't exactly like that. I was in college down there as huh? a 19 year old kid in uh, 1971. Okay. And uh, have a lot of friends there still. And it's in that area where we manufacture. Okay, great. Uh, the people that run our factory, I've known since 1971. Wow. And are more like family to me than most of my family. Well, that's an interesting way of doing quality control to just make sure you know them all that time. Well, uh, you go somewhere and hire strangers to build an airplane, and it's not uh, near as fun. It doesn't and a always lot more work risky. out right, right. Uh -huh. And we really taught them all their skills from the welding to the sheet metal work. Is that right? And they only know the quality that we showed them. Well, that and, sounds like uh, a pretty good way to keep things under under wrap nice and tight. You, you so. don't find professional welders, professional sheet metal people that there are in abundance here at Oshkosh looking at what we do and saying anything but complimentary comments. Good stuff. So lots of information here today. Thank you both for that, all that information that we've gotten. If we want to go on the web, we'll put it on screen for people, but where would you send them? BearhawkAircraft.com. Okay, pretty simple there. Uh, lots more information about this aircraft and many other light sport aircraft in the space and lots of engine info, plenty of videos, all available on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Mark, Bob, and myself here at AirVenture.